make it through the winter. You and me looking for a spark. I want to take it back to the beginning. But that ain't going to change where we are, where we are. Hi, my name is Selma Duchanovich with the Winter Film Awards. I'm sitting with Anna Moot Levin, one of the directors of Matter of Mind, My Parkinson's. Hi, Anna, how are you? Great, thanks so much for having me today. Of course. Um, so tell us a little bit about yourself and what inspired you to do this documentary. I had a very important personal experience growing up with someone living with a chronic illness in my family and that really inspired me to tell stories focused on health and healthcare issues. And so Matter of Mind, My Parkinson's is part of a three film series about people living with neurodegenerative diseases. The first film focuses on ALS, this film focuses on Parkinson's, and the third will be on Alzheimer's. And what we see right now in the country is a real rise in neurodegenerative diseases as more Americans are getting older, living longer lives. We're seeing a real increase in people living with these types of diseases. And yet at the same time, we have so little understanding of what's behind these diseases and how to support people with these diseases and their families. In creating this documentary and being in these people's lives for a long time, um, I would imagine there's a lot of obstacles, but like emotional obstacles. Um, getting the person to be vulnerable, to open up, uh, to trust you. Um, what was the hardest part about making this documentary? Um, what was the most difficult thing for you to do as the director? Yes, well, Parkinson's is a progressive illness, which means that it gets worse over time. And it was very emotional for us to see the people in our film, even over the short period of us filming of six months to a year, see people's symptoms get worse and seeing them having to adapt and shift to this ever-changing reality that is Parkinson's disease. Mm -hmm. I can definitely imagine that seems really tough, especially um, seeing them not being able to like walk so much. Um, that was hard for me watching it. Um, so then I guess last question, um, what do you want audiences to walk away from uh, with this documentary? What do you want them to think, to feel, to know, to learn? Just like everything after they see that. Yes, we want people to understand that it's really important for us as a society to be thinking about how can we support people living with chronic illnesses like Parkinson's disease? How can we create a more inclusive culture and create a, a world in which people with Parkinson's don't feel as isolated and alone, mm -hmm. as well as it's really important for us to provide support to caregivers for people with Parkinson's, whether it's a, a spouse or a child in my own family. Um, there was, a, I had a family member with Parkinson's um, who was cared for by her daughter and it took a tremendous toll on her daily life. And so I think that it's important for us to really be thinking about, especially as diseases like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's become more prevalent, how can we support people with these illnesses and their caregivers? Because there are some treatments, but we're very far still really from a, a real cure for Parkinson's or Alzheimer's. Thank you so much for talking with me, Anna. I can't wait to see you at the Winter Film Awards. Thank you so much. I first noticed that I had a tremor in my leg. And that was the first time there was danger on the horizon. My left hand was shaking. I went to a theater neurologist, and he told me I had Parkinson's.
I didn't believe it. I thought that it had to be a mistake. I have this disease. It's progressive and incurable. And you don't want to identify with it. You don't want it to define you. To lose the ability to draw would be a catastrophic loss of myself. In the sense, I would be snuffed out while I was still alive. 